Hey, this is Michael with today's Giving Tip Tuesday. And today I wanna to talk about three common surprises for first time pastors regarding church giving. I think it's fair to say that every new pastor has had their fair share of surprising moments. Moments when they realized that all the education in the world could not fully prepare them for what they now face. And a lot of times those moments relate to church generosity. So here are some of the most common surprises new pastors face about church giving and how to address them. The first surprise is finding out that the biggest critics are usually poor givers. There's a saying that the squeaky wheel gets the oil, and this is often true in church ministry. Pastors will often spend a significant amount of time with the louder, more consistent critics, and some pastors just assume that these critics are vocal because they're significantly involved with their time and their money. However, at some point, they'll realize this assumption could not be further from the truth. And this leads us to surprise number two, and that's that the biggest givers are not who you think they are. While pastors are surprised to find that the biggest critics are often poor givers, they're also surprised to find out who the biggest givers are. The truth is the biggest givers are often not the wealthiest or the most vocal church members. You'll often find that your church's largest givers are quiet and generally ordinary people who have sacrificed financially in an extraordinary way. And the final surprise is this. Digital giving can provide the most financial consistency for the church. Generally, pastors do not put much thought into how a person gives, and certainly the way a person gives is not the most important generosity component. However, pastors are surprised to see how digital giving provides financial consistency for the church. Automated giving allows for consistency in amount and date, and first-time pastors find themselves appreciating how digital giving makes stewarding the church's financial resources significantly easier. So thanks so much for joining us for this Giving Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you back next week.